Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. I uh, work at Emulus and I just want to talk to you about one of our new and up and coming packages. We call it Archetype. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, essentially what it does is allows uh, anyone who at least knows JSON to be able to create really quick field setted sortable uh, core, property, uh, core properties right into your project or you can uh, insert one of your own. So uh, in order to get an idea of what Archetype is and what it does, it, it's going to help to have a little test drive here. So uh, Archetype here is a, Archetype 1 that is, is a field set, has a name, age property, and right now I have my name in there. And one cool thing is, is I can add new ones, I can sort them, I can delete one of them, and we can be uh, good to go. Now when I save and publish that, um, it'll go ahead and take it. Wouldn't it be cool if we could pass the configuration information just like the core property editor for string or text string already does? So let's take a look at the config. And so this field set model um, kind of defines exactly the behavior. And so if we want to have the name be required, we can do so just by putting name required. Now we can go back here and add a new field set and if we try to save that yeah, we might have to refresh it yeah we do so let's uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and refresh the page first and if I add a new field set into here and save it it'll go ahead and highlight it just as the core does it says this page has property errors and now I can save and publish it so long story short I can just go to my empty field set model here and define what an empty field set model is. Uh, other things you can do is you can define how many field sets uh, would be the maximum. So if I come back here, add a third one, notice all my plus signs go away. I can still delete them. If I delete them, my plus signs come back and I can still sort them. Uh, another feature, I can actually hide the editor controls. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And refresh it. And now I have my two field sets that I created originally, and I also don't have the ability to manage those. Um, that gives a side effect of actually creating a field set, locking it down as a developer, let's say it's on the settings page, then you can have a customized uh, field set just like that where it's got two inputs. Let's go ahead and unlock it and look at some of the other things. I can pass a custom CSS class to my archetype and that applies to the overall archetype. That way you have a handle and you can use a custom CSS file or a custom JS file and go ahead and, and uh, target those if you want to. Now one cool feature of this <clears throat> is let's say we wanted to um, change what the default model is on a page that already has this property in use. So if I change this to name to and age to, go ahead and hit save. And then come back here and refresh. You don't see any changes. The reason is, is that's what a new one would look like. So if I hit that, there's my name and age. So every subsequent field set that I would add to my page now has the new model. So if we continue that theme, we can actually mix archetypes or field sets, I guess it would be. So we're going to mix the field sets. So we're going to have H2 and H3 and still just text boxes. And I'll go ahead and hit save. Refresh the page. Again, now I can do something a little more interesting. I can actually have two boxes that are separate from each other and of course if I come back here hide my controls from the uh, data editor as a developer again I've just created oops I didn't save it so let's let's kind of run through the drill again here so let me unlock it and refresh it all right there we go now I got to save it. Oh, that's right, new name. Go 
go ahead and hide the controls. And there you go. So now we have a, a customized field set options. Uh, another cool thing uh, you can do is, well, Umbraco comes with about 35 different property editors built in. And here's a giant list of them. And if you go to your build Umbraco views property editors, you'll actually see them. And all you really have to do is you have to pass in the name of what it is. So if we want to pass in a content picker, instead of a text box that should be no problem so we just come back here and change one of these to content picker and hit save if all goes well we will now have a built-in content picker and you can pass in different options so let's say you needed this to be a multi-picker again it would be a matter of just coming back here changing your con or passing a config over to your content picker okay so I'm gonna go ahead and save that All right, another cool feature is I can put this guy in developer mode. So if I go ahead and do so, and refresh my page, I can actually change things on the fly through the JSON right here. So if I want to change this to Tom Fulton, I can do so and notice that the name changes there. If I want to change the labels, I can say full name and so on and so forth. And it's in real time. It actually updates as you go. I can go ahead and save and publish that. Uncheck that. Save that. And there you go. That's uh, essentially how it works with Archetype. Thank you.